Hi guys, my name is Zin and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, today I'm going to show you some of the new stuff that I got from yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was at uh, Race Nursery with uh, all the Toronto Bonsai Society people and then it was a nursery crawl and uh, I got a couple new items. Um, so I'll show you those now. So first up is this, uh, it's a boxwood, it's a Kingsville boxwood, uh, which has I think smaller leaves and there's only a few of them, so I picked this one out. It's already got a pretty decent tree structure. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this this year. Uh, just, I'm just going to let it grow and then next year I'll prune this up a bit and probably pot it up. But yeah, for now that's going to stay there. And another one is the hedge maple. Um, this maple, I think, I think Ray said that this was a it's a very hardy maple plus it's salt tolerant so he actually uses it as his work for his work um, which makes a easy bonsai material uh, to use for uh, at least for Canada so I will prune this up today um, I think it's a bit big right now but um, but this one I gotta spend a few years building the trunk line first and then uh, you know we'll go from there but yeah I am, I am gonna take this back today but not right now so the next thing I got is this uh, clump this is from Connor actually I didn't buy this and uh, this is a it's a native silver maple I believe um, there's a came in a clump about 10 or 11 trees I'm not sure what if that's something that grew by itself or it was a part of the, the clump but there's one kind of a dead uh, tree there um, but so this is a uh, I think he did this based on one of the videos at um was a bonsai inn or something whatever it's called but he uh you know they did they, they did this with japanese maples and he's trying out with the regular maples in a way so i wanted these uh maple trees from before but i just didn't have any and he said he, he was trying to get rid of them so <laughs> he gave it to me um there's a lot of trees in here so i'm not sure if all of them is going to make it and they're really close together it would be kind of hard to separate them because this one, this guy here, which is one of the taller ones, is actually right in the middle of all the plantings. And I know the point of this is to for, for it to become a clump. Um, but I do think there are a bit too many and I'm not sure how, how this is going to grow. Uh, I need to probably either wire them or, you know, do something. So, and there's a lot of trees here that's kind of, that's going, split into two which at this point I don't want that so I am going to prune this a bit just to at least get it back in shape and maybe next year in the spring I think I will uh, I might separate this and then redo it or you know or something like that I'm not I'm not sure yet so we'll, we'll see when we get there okay so we're gonna start with the uh, hedge maple here and um, so the, the growth is fine I mean the branches I'm not gonna use um, you know I just need to build this trunk line right now. It's quite thin and uh, there's a little bit of maybe a tiny bit of movement at the bottom which you probably can't see. Um, but you know next year when everything when everything falls off and uh, in the spring I'm going to uh, you can see the, the, inter the entire structure by then and I'll be pruning more at that point to build the trunk line. So first I'm just going to take this leader back uh, all the way down here for now. And then I'll take this back. Actually, I do want to mention that we're near the end of the season. Um, it's we're near the end of August, and you know September, October, we're getting to the fall weathers. Uh, it's going to get cooler. The sun, you know, is going to get less and less. So the tree is not going to be growing that much, uh, which means that this is not a good time to prune this because whatever time we have left, it might not be enough for the growth to harden off, and it might be. In danger of overwintering troubles. Um, the only reason I'm pruning this now is because I'm going to overwinter this in the garage where there's no wind. Uh, it stays above zero degrees most of the time, which is really warm for winter. Uh, which is why I'm, I'm going to prune this now and not really have to worry about anything. But if you don't have a garage to overwinter where you don't have a protected area, then I would definitely not prune anything right now. I think it's a bit late in the season. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. 
you know, I don't, I don't want to send a confusing message here, so, you know, just so you know. Anyway, let's uh, get rid of this. So that, I'll take it back here. Right there. I'm not really looking to style this in any way. And I'm just removing some of the grill so I can see everything better. And to get more sun into the interior of the tree. There's a dead branch in here so I'm going to try to get rid of. There it goes. Another dead kind of a stuff there. So this is the main leader here. I'm not sure if you can how well you can see that. Right there comes up. I'm going to take this branch and while this movement is good uh, and I could cut it off maybe here and let it go next year um, but what I was thinking is to take it off here around this area eventually um, before the uh, uh, or during the spring next year and then have either this one or whatever comes up from the other side of, of, of this, uh, this area and go from there. I just think this part is too straight and too long. Uh, if that was shorter, I was I'll, I'll, be, I'll be okay with it, but I think it's a bit too long. And there is something on the other side that's kind of thicker that's over here. So we'll see what happens with that. There's a side chute here, which is like, a, I guess you can call it a twin trunk, which uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to keep. Um, I mean, we'll see next year. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. I'll take this back a little more for now. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I might keep it. I might not. Uh, it's not really a big deal right now. So that's the line I'm going for with the trunk. And that's how I'm going to do it for now. Uh, I might get some uh, growth, some new, some new growth before the fall comes. But I don't think they'll have time to harden off. And that's okay because, again, I'm going to over overwinter this in the garage. Uh, which will be very protected and it shouldn't have any issues. There's some leaves, dead leaves. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the next tree. Uh, this is you know, all the stuff that came off. So next up is the clump style silver maple. Uh, it's so tall that you might not even be able to see the top. Um, cause I, because I'm not sure if I'm going to separate this or not later on so right now all I'm gonna do is find the ones that with the branching at the top and I think I'm gonna take that off so for example this one this this tree is one in the middle and it splits into two the way that it is right now I would definitely take the one on the inside out um, but it really doesn't matter if I want to rearrange this it, it would not make a difference um, but uh, but for now, I will take the one on the inside out just because the way it's arranged. So we'll try to get in here. There that goes. And I think there was another one with the branch. Yeah, this this here. This, this one here has a big divide over here, so I'll take the one on the inside out again. So you can actually see everything better with stuff cut off. And then there's another one here that's dividing, um, which I will take also the inside out. And I can see the divides are result of a pruning, uh, which maybe Connor have done this year. There's a dead branch here which I'll remove. And again, this I will overwinter this in the garage. So if anything comes, you know, if any of the new branches start to uh, to shoot out, it's not going to be a problem overwintering. So I think 
that's all the pruning that I need for this for now. It's quite tall and I'm not gonna keep this this tall, uh, but I uh, I want to grow this year to get, you know get thicker with whatever time we have left. And then next year I can make it, I can prune it down a bit more. And then this thing here, I'm not even sure if this is a, a tree or it, maybe it's a sucker that grew out. But I guess I'll leave that for now. Um, so I think that's it. And I'm going to try to find out how many trees are in here. So, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. It's about either nine or ten, or it might be eleven if you can, the small ones. So there's lots of trees in here, and uh, I, I think I think if I keep it like this, it's some of them will die for sure because just, there's just too many, and which is why I was thinking of rearranging this next year. Um, I was thinking doing a number either seven or five, you know, something that's more manageable. I could wire the trunks a bit more uh, when there's less. Right now, I think that there's just too many and. It would be tough to do anything to, to kind of get in here and not damage anything. So, but that'll be next year. Uh, that's all for now. So, that's all I'm gonna do this this uh, this week. There's uh, nothing more to do. Um, everything else is growing well, and uh, so I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys.